Well, things are definitely getting intense in the world right now, guys. There is no doubt about that. In fact, today, what else could possibly happen? Russian nuclear-capable nuclear bombers were flying near and around Japan, according to U.S. officials, guys. This is Russia trying to show their force, okay, trying to make a point. Everything that's happened recently in the Middle East with, with the missile strikes by the U.S. into Syria, the North Korea tensions, China and U.S. relations seemingly getting on the same page. Russia, we, I mean, we know they're standing with Assad in Syria. We know they're in with the Iranians, guys. We definitely, definitely, again, wars, rumors of wars, nations rising against nations, and kingdoms against kingdoms, as Jesus talked about in Matthew 24. Well, the first time in nearly three months, Russia flew nuclear-capable bear bombers near Japan, the latest sign of increasing tensions in the region, according to U.S. officials. The officials said that three Russian Tu-95 bear bombers took off from a base in eastern Russia, flying in the Sea of Japan and remained in international airspace. One U.S. official described the Russian bomber flight as, quote, clearly meant to send a message. Japan scrambled 14 fighter jets at different times to intercept the Russian bombers and spy plane during a flight near Japan, according to officials. The Russian bombers came as close, get this, as 36 miles from Japan, guys, but remained in the international airspace. During the three Russian long-range bombers was an IL-20 spy plane. Now, the three Russian bear bombers flew down Japan's east coast while the spy plane flew down the west coast. The U.S. Navy destroyer, the USS Barry, was also tracking the spy plane from the Sea of Japan. The latest provocation from Russia comes as Secretary of State Rex Tillerson did visit Moscow today, of course, had discussions with foreign, uh, foreign international leader Sergei Lavrov, and also President Vladimir Putin, who was not expected to meet with Tillerson amidst the ongoing tensions between the U.S. and Russia. As we know, they said that tensions are at an all, I mean, really relations with the U.S. and Russia are at an all-time low right now over everything, but Putin did meet with Tillerson. It's going to be interesting to see where they go from here, if who Russia is really going to back. Now, the Russian bombers took off Wednesday from an airbase in Ukraine, in eastern Russia, home to one of Russia's largest fleet of strategic, strategic bombers. So, guys, things are crazy. Rumors of World War III, will it start, will it not? Look, I don't know. Only God knows that. He's the only one with the answer. A lot of people are going to tell you that this is World War III. This is the start. Look, we don't really know. God can intervene. God can do whatever it is he wants to do at any given time. It's always important that we reach out to him, that we pray. Pray for the men and women that are overseas, that are fighting for our men and women, our troops for the United States, that God will guide them. Whatever, whatever happens, however our generals direct us, God's at the helm. He's in control. We look to trust in him. All right, guys, I'll put the link below if you want to check it out. Subscribe to me here, CardsFan480. And thank you to the new subscribers that have joined up recently as well. I really appreciate it, okay? Most importantly, guys, if you've never given your life to Jesus Christ, if you would like to do so today, please let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as Lord and Savior. You can be born again, forgiven of all of your sins. Come into the kingdom of God where you'll have everlasting life and a home in heaven for eternity, guys. I promise you, it'll be the greatest decision you ever do make. I'll continue to keep you up to speed here, guys. A very busy time going on in the world right now. All the latest breaking news, current world events, and Bible prophecy updates. So just keep it here at this channel. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Be safe out there. God bless each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you soon.